Sultan Bukela. Hello, my friends. I am back again. Something have been on my mind lately. And the thing is quite disturbing. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about that the line between humans and animals, it's getting blurred. I like animals. I like natural animals. But the problem is, when some animals are starting to have more rights and values than humans have. And what animal is recently starting to have more rights than humans? Dogs. It is always dogs. No other animals, only dogs. Because dogs uber alles! And it has gotten to the point where if I am trying to go and have a dinner at a restaurant, a restaurant made for humans serving human food. I ask them, is your restaurant free from pets? And they usually tell me no. And um, I ask them, but are, are they allowed inside the restaurant where you eat? Yeah. Well, I don't want to sit inside a restaurant with expensive food and have like dog dander and hair and fur and slobber or maybe smell dog shit while I'm eating. And I tell them that sometimes I can even have allergic reactions that can affect my throat. And they usually be like, well, the dogs, they are allowed to be here. But don't worry, they're over in that corner over there. And I'm like, well, you know this stuff is airborne, right? And they're like, well, Maybe then you should go to some other place. The problem is every place is like this these days. You can't escape to have someone's animal inside a restaurant, like a five-star restaurant. But guess what restaurant that is? And completely pet-free. Freaking McDonald's. A place like McDonald's has banned all pets from entering. Meanwhile, five-star restaurants allow some random person to bring like a dirty, unwashed animal inside a restaurant. <laughs> and pubs and cafes are doing this as well. Like I even seen some people having their dogs hanging over the counter where they're serving food. <laughs> Who wants to eat at places like that? Basically, these people who are dog fanatics, these types of restaurants and cafes and stuff, many of them, they get super triggered, super defensive and super rude. They cannot stand that you question their decision that dogs are more valuable than human customers. It's like I didn't choose to have allergic reactions. But to own a dog, that's a personal choice. That's not a right. What they are doing is human discrimination. Basically, if you are a person who are allergic to dogs, maybe you don't want to be near them for other reasons, and they are in a place not designed or meant for dogs, or other animals for that matter, why the hell would human customers be denied to enter these places? It is absolutely mind-blowing. It's baffling. It's pure insanity. If you think from a sanitary perspective, it's even more crazy. To have some animal that just constantly like shakes and sheds and drools and, and who communicate through their anal glands. Dogs communicate with their anal scent. It's called chemical communication. Chemical communication is a scent that's spread into the air that you're breathing. To think an animal like that is suitable inside a restaurant, that's absolutely madness. And these companies, they have even told me that I'm not welcome as a customer just because dogs uber alles. Animals have more rights than humans. It's getting crazier and crazier. And I think it's very creepy. Why are someone's pet more valued and have more rights than a human being. 
Dogs in the diner, what a total nightmare How is this allowed? Amongst the crowd Apparently health and safety exists no more 